All right, guys, this is a webinar on my best six setups I use to trade Nadex, how I turned 250 bucks into 18,000 in just three weeks. Now, some of you are probably thinking, no way, Jose, how would you do that? Um, and I actually recorded every single trade, so that's that's a cool thing. I initially went into this, uh, th this was, my initial goal was just to take my account to two grand and trade very aggressively, and then I ended up doing that you know, within a, just a few trades. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the end of the year and just see where I end up. Uh, this was 2015, right before Christmas. And my initial goal was just to take 250 bucks to two grand so I could buy Christmas presents for everyone I needed to take care of, specifically my girlfriend, um, cause she is 90% of my Christmas list. But I ended up far exceeding my expectations and was able to record every single trade. And uh, this is kind of how I got into that, what exactly I traded during that run, and the strategies I used. So before I get into it, I must read a dis risk disclaimer. I'm sure everybody else in this webinar has read one before me, but uh, risk disclaimer. Uh, important notice, no representation is being made that the use of this strategy or any system or trading methodology will generate profits. Past performance of, is not necessarily indicative of future results. There is substantial risk of loss associated with trading securities and options and equities. Only risk capital should be used to trade trading securities. It's not suitable for everyone. Disclaimer, futures, options, currency, trading all have large potential rewards, but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of these risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in these markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This website is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy sell futures, options, or currencies. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in this web presentation and past performance of any trading system or mythology is not necessarily indicative of future results. CFTC rule 4.41. I'm sure you can tell I've read that before. Um, let's see. Let's get into it. So anyways, got a little bit, but I need to update that profile. First off, I'm 27 now, actually 27 and a half. But uh, yeah, so not that my age matters or anything. Uh, bought my first stock when I was 15. This is on the left-hand side. This is me and a prop desk I'd worked in Chicago. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have eight monitors, but I'll tell you what, if you've thought about doing it, because it looks really cool, don't even bother. I trade with three monitors now. I trade 15 different pairs, 10 currencies. Uh, four indexes, and then two commodities. And I really don't think you need more than three screens for all that. But I used to trade prop equity, moving anywhere from 30 to 60,000 shares on any given day across an asset, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 different stocks I was scanning. So it was a little more labor intensive. I've moved away from that now, uh, but that's just that where that picture is on the left. And this is me and Tom Sosnoff, the founder of Thinkorswim, my trading platform of choice, which I was able to pull out about $860 today, trading the ES in front of my trade room members, just on a two lot. So nothing crazy with size. I'm not a, I'm not a huge trader, uh, but uh, I like to trade in front of my members. Anyway, so this is me and Tom, founder of Thinkorswim. Guy sold it off for $700 million. I sure wish I had that paycheck, but back a little bit more into my story. Bought my first stock when I was 15. At 18 years old, open an options trading account with all the money I'd saved up uh, and I was a pizza delivery guy, so saved up about one, two thousand dollars, and had a great start. This is in '08, um, doing well, doing well. Boom, lose all my money, and I realized that I probably should seek help in trading because losing money is not fun. And so that's what I started to do, looking for everything I could, scouring, you know, books, internet articles, you name it, trying to learn. And then at a 20 years old, I was able to study under a former hedge fund trader. And then I got my first job at a prop firm at 22 years old and then did an educational class at Tom Sosnoff. Fast forward to 2015, I discovered these things and why you guys are here today to learn from me called binary options. Uh, binary options, I never heard of them. I thought they were shady. And so I did my research. I found a CFTC regulated firm um, and then you know began demoing it, understanding how it worked. And then like I said, I took two hundred fifty dollars into eighteen thousand in thirteen days, and then instead of buying my girlfriend just a gift, we actually went on vacation. So that's the vacation. That is the reward I like to call it for my hard work in the month of December. Um, and this is just a little crazy P and L graph, uh, but yeah, I traded that really, really aggressively. I don't recommend somebody try to repeat it by any means. But it, what it did was it opened my eyes to a completely new way to trade. Most of you guys have probably traded stocks. Almost everybody who's traded has traded a stock at some point. 
maybe you moved into options. Maybe you moved into Forex or futures if you got real crazy in a while. But one thing you probably have never heard of, or if you have, maybe you don't know enough about them, is binary options. What I'm going to teach you is what binary options are, how they work, how to make trading a yes or no prediction, and then I'm going to show you my favorite trade setup I use. Just a little PL shot from uh, last year. Fun fact I am the world record holder for largest PL video on YouTube for Nadex. So, kind of kind of cool. Somebody could probably beat that. It's about $18,000 trade. It's not huge, but it's pretty big. Uh, binary options are the perfect product for a technical analyst. They really break options down for a simple, a simple form. They make it a yes or no prediction. They, they really, I mean, I used to trade a lot of regular options up until about 2013. I stopped. This is something I totally wish I came across when I first learned to trade. I don't even know if it existed back then. This is a completely new way to trade. You've never probably heard of this. this the starting capital to day trade binary options is $250 with Nadex. So that's your minimum account balance. So that is the smallest amount of money you can get actually started with. But obviously, I recommend you start on a demo account before you jump into it live. And then the other thing that makes binary options completely different than any product you've traded before is it has a time-based exit. Now, that time-based exit can be anywhere from 20 minutes to the next hour, end of the day, or the end of the week. I typically trade the hourly and daily strikes uh, where the majority of my trades, I do not trade the 20 minute strikes. I think that's a little more uh, of gambling than trading personally, but some people like to trade on really, really small time frames. Personally, not me. So Nadex binary options. Nadex binary options are limited risk contracts based on a simple yes or no market proposition, like will the markets go up at the end of the trading week? So today we just had FOMC uh, statement come out I didn't actually look at the statement yet, but if you guys were to guess, just tell me what you think. Is the market going to be higher or lower at the end of the week? Just simply put higher or lower at the end of the week, and then you guys can tell me what you think. And then really all you're doing is you're deciding if we're going to be above or below a specific, tri uh, specific strike price. Makes trading, for me at least, I think way more simple. Binary options are going to offer trade or traders a way to trade the most active stock indices, commodities, forex events, and Bitcoin markets with relatively low collateral. You have everything from the dollar USD to oil to gold to ES. All of the actively traded products on futures and currencies are going to be ones that you're going to be able to trade using Nadex binary options. Binary options are cash settle contracts that settle within all or nothing payout left till the expiration. If the condition of the contract is achieved, the settlement value is 100. If the condition is not achieved, the settlement value is zero. So it's binary. You're either got the full value of the contract or you have zero. So at the end of the contract, if you paid say $30 for the contract, the full value is 100, you make $70 on that contract. If you paid 30 and the contract uh, and the condition is not achieved, we are not above the strike price you anticipated, your settlement value will be zero. Now, it is possible to close out of a contract prior to the expiration to either take profits or cut losses like you would with any other instrument. So if you know you wanted to take it off, for, you know, to either stop out of the trade or if you just think that, hey, we hit your profit target, you don't want to be holding the rest of the week, forget about it. Take it off, no problem. Binary, a binary order ticket in here. Uh, so what it'll say, it'll say like US 500, which is the product. Does anybody know what the US 500 is? Take a wild guess. It's the S&P 500 futures market, also known as the ES. In this, in this instance, the strike price is 1947. The expiration time is 415 or the end of the day futures close. And then when I took this screenshot, I should probably update it, but the, ind the index was actually at 1948.3. So if you just bought this contract, the market went sideways up or even down a point, you would actually make $40 per contract. Now you can see the offer here is $60. If the total value of the contract is 100, 100 minus 60 equals your reward. Now if you sell on the bid, it's actually 100 my, uh 5450 is actually your reward, making a 100 minus 5450 your your uh reward. I'm sorry, your risk. 
talking too fast for my own good. But simply put, all you're doing as a trader is taking the strike levels and deciding whether or not, based on your analysis, if you think will be above or below that strike price and then being paid accordingly to what you paid for the specific strike price. Uh, so there's only, so I see a question here. Uh, I, I, from what I've heard, and I don't usually address questions, but what, from what I've heard, binary options are kind of scammy. And to be honest with you, if you send your money to Cyprus, you're never going to see it again. But the Nadex binary options are a CFTC regulated product. They're one of two exchanges that are CFTC regulated, and it's a completely new form of trading. And do not go with those foreign brokers that ask you to send in your credit card and sign all the, these waivers. CFTC regulated products only. I don't trade anything with foreign brokers where I have to send my money to some foreign country where I call and it's a Russian dude on the other line that just t tells me that Vladimir Putin is his master. Um, but that's a whole nother story. Why Nadex? So here are the few benefits of trading Nadex binary options. There's limited risk. The maximum amount you can lose on every trade is your original investment. Some of you are probably thinking, oh, of course the maximum amount I can lose on my original investment. Ain't eh, wrong. If you're trading futures, if you're trading Forex, if you're trading short stock, naked options, you are susceptible to unlimited risk. And that can actually not only wipe out the money you have in your account, but actually wipe out and put you into debt. And it's happened before. Now, of course, that's a black swan event. It might not never happen. But realistically speaking, how often are black swan events happening in the financial markets these days? It seems like every other year or sometimes even every year, everything from the flash crash to 2008, uh, you know, you have many flash crashes in stocks all the time. So by limiting risk, you will never be susceptible to unlimited risk that comes with trading leveraged products. There's also low collateral required, allowing traders with smaller accounts to control their risk. If you want to trade things like Apple, Amazon, um, you know some of the bigger names, Google, if you want to trade those option contracts, you're looking at like on the low end, $300 an option contract, unless you're going way far out of the money. And at that point, if you want to trade an at the money contract, and you know Google, you're looking well into a thousand dollars a contract. If, if you want to trade an at the money contract in a Nadex binary option, you're looking at fifty bucks. So it actually allows the trader to have a uh, more control over the percentage of risk on any individual trade, which allows you to have a number of occurrences rather than you know one trade here you're going all in on. That's not going to be a good strategy, guys. Uh, also, the other thing that's great is they have short-term contracts, binary expirations ranging from 20 minutes to one week, which means that you as the trader get to choose when you want to structure your trade. Now, if you're just trading Apple, maybe you played the earnings yesterday, you had about three choices. You got like the end of the week, Friday, then you got next Friday, and then you got the monthlies, right? So there's really not a lot of options. It's pretty much every Friday. But with binary option contracts, if I have a support level that I think is just going to hold for the next two hours, and then after that, we got non-farm payroll on Friday, I don't want nothing to do with that. I get to choose the strike price I want based on my own analysis, giving the individual trader the power to control the trade, which is awesome. But my favorite part about binary options is you know when you enter into the contract, what your profit or loss will be based on where the price is. How many of you guys have ever taken a trade and you're like, oh man, this is going to go my way. It's going to go my way. And it goes your way and you don't actually make any money. Yeah. So that's happened to me before. And it was really before I understood how options were priced with the Black Scholes module. And that implied volatility had actually had the move to be expected. I predicted a 10% move correctly on earnings and received 0% return on the premium I had invested in. I thought that was ridiculous. And then I began to look into more why that occurred. And I realized, oh, there's much more to this. So with binary options, I know that if we're going to be above my strike at the end of expiration, exactly how much I'm getting paid, no guesses. All right. Price is king. We teach price action. I'm a price action trader. Binary options are the best product for price action traders. And there is that little screenshot right there uh, from what was that, July 8th, the largest, that's the largest PL recorded on YouTube, just over 18 grand.
by moi. So commission and cost structure, you're probably wondering, all right, you know, what's the catch here? How much does it cost to trade these things? Another huge bonus. It's going to be a dollar per lot on each side. So if, if you wanted to just trade it a, a one lot, one lot in options, and you have a, you know, especially for those of you who have smaller accounts, or when you're testing a strategy, you shouldn't be trading full size. Um, you know, if you want to buy, say, a $40 option in, say, Exxon Mobil, well, if it costs you $7 plus a per contract charge to take that trade, like some brokers charge, or actually most brokers charge, they charge a uh, execution fee and then per lot on top of that, you are eating in 14 to maybe 16 all the way up to $18 or up to 50% of the actual contract value. With Nadex, it's going to be a dollar per lot per each size all the way up to 50 contracts and then there's no additional cost whatsoever so as you scale up your your cost actually goes down because if you start trading 100 lots in nadex which i've done i don't do often but if you trade 100 lot in nadex it's going to be 50 cents pretty much 50 cents per contract per side which really reduces the fees but even initially when you're starting with small size having a one dollar fee per lot really reduces the cost compared to if you were just trading similar price options with a per ticket a ticket charge and a per contract on top of that that can really add up and commissions can totally eat into your profits a lot of times if you're buying an option contract with you know that's fifty dollars or less you need a 30 to 40 percent move just to break even on the cost of execution that's insane there's no way you can ever play catch up to that um, so you know, that's a huge benefit here uh, with Nadex. Expiration times are going to be given in Eastern Standard Time, kind of like the time of this webinar, but I'm in Chicago, so I messed that up. <laughs> so um, yeah, expiration times are going to be given Eastern Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast and 115 rolls around and you're like, hey, the option said it expired at 415, what's going on? Just realize that, yes, the trading world revolves around New York, those guys over there. Um, but yeah, so that's just something good to know. Spreads are going to be where the market makers are going to have their edge. There's constantly a market being made by algorithms, just like there is in any other market we trade these days. However, there's no high frequency traders front running your orders as soon as you put in a market order because there is a central exchange. Unlike stocks and options, which have multiple exchanges, when you put in a market order, especially a larger market order, as soon as it hits one of those markets, the high frequency robots will see your order if it goes in, dissipates to the other markets, front run, get in front of you, move the, the bid or the ask up and make you pay more. That's not going to happen in Nadex because it's a central exchange. Traditional options are complicated. Take it from me, although I don't consider myself an option, uh, a traditional option expert. I did stop trading them in about 2013. I'll occasionally put a position on, but I worked under the guy who pretty much invented, or I shouldn't say invented, but he was a CBOE market maker for 30 years. He had 30 traders under him. He in, he, he invented Thinkorswim, which is pretty much the first retail brokerage account to bring options mainstream. And I'll tell you what, he was a genius when it came to, to understanding how options were priced. Personally, that's not me. I understand the Black-Scholes module, but I cannot compute it on the fly. There's four th things a person needs to be able to compute on the fly when trading traditional options. On top of all these, you need to be able to read a chart. So if you can compute delta, gamma, theta, vega, wait, there's one more, volatility and historical volatility on the top of managing your position, determining entry and exit, all power to you. I like to simplify things, pick a strike price, decide whether we're going to be above or below, and not worry about the super sophisticated trading. I leave it up to uh, the math whizzes that price this stuff. I'm good at reading charts, and that's what I stick to, making it as simple as possible for me, the trader, to reduce mental complexity that stunts all of our growth as uh, new traders, especially when you first begin trading. That mental complexity really, really will stunt your growth. And uh, one of my favorite quotes here by a guy named Bernard Baruch is, if a speculator is correct half of the time, he is hitting a good average. Even being right three or four times out of 10 should yield a person a fortune if he has the sense to cut his losses quickly on ventures where he is wrong. When trading isn't simple, what I've done here is I'm going to compare future options on futures versus Nadex options on futures contracts. So what we have here, 
Let me get my little highlighter tool out if I can. Um, so the 2120 strike, all right? So 2120 is 350 by six bucks. So it's 175 by 300. You multiply the cost by 50 because these are options on futures contracts, which are different than options on stocks, which are multiplied by 100. Sorry, I'm zipping through this, probably throwing some stuff way over your guys' head, but uh, this is geometry class. And if you haven't passed algebra, you might be having some trouble. The price needed for a 100% return on investment is a move to 2032 or a 14 point move in the S&P 500. Okay, right here we're trading 21.1775. I need a 14 point move to 2032 to double my money. Okay, and usually when I'm taking an option contract, I want to double my money. If I'm not doubling my money, uh, you know, then maybe the trade I'll pass. So Let's take a look, same, what we're doing is pretty much the same trade, but we're gonna use Nadex binary options instead. In this case, we have a 21, or a 2021 strike. So you guys remember we needed to move to 2032 before, and that was 14 points. I was able to pick up 2021 calls uh, for $45.50, which means my reward is 54.50, okay? So I actually, a little over 100% return on my investment if we can close above 2021, okay? So we have two options here. 2032 in futures options is going to get me 100% return on my investment. Or if I take the same trade in Nadex, I need to move above 2021 by expiration. Now, which one would you guys choose? Now I'm just, you know, I'm not asking for a right or wrong answer, even though I think there is one, but would you rather get a 100% return on your investment in a four point move or a 14 point move? Okay, I think that's a pretty simple answer. Some of you are probably thinking, oh, what's the catch? Like, why, why do you need a smaller move? Well, theoretically, if you buy the futures option, you have unlimited upside. So if the market goes to 3,000, which of course it's not, you would make much more money versus the Nadex has a capped gain you can make. But remember, guys, for those of you guys who have been around a while, you totally understand trading is about base hits, although the occasional home run is nice if you're swinging for the fences every single time. You're probably not going to end up with a good batting average. You're going to end up looking like Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire after they got busted doing steroids. You're going to be burnt out. Okay? So really the key here is I just want to show you guys the difference between those two. So one of my favorite six setups, and I got to breeze through this because I know I'm, I'm already running out of time, but occurs on days when the market is trending. So what we're looking for is a 315 minute bar. So the upside, we're going to draw a low to a high and place a trade at the 50% retracement. I usually like to buy strikes that are one to two hours out. And then at the end of the day, also I'm looking for a gap. So Gap up, we have a three bar move down, we get into that 50% retracement. As we trade up into that level, boom, that is your resistance right there. And then that's how you place a trade. Doesn't matter if we're three or 30 points below, you're gonna get paid the same. Same setup to the upside, three point move up. And this is the one where you guys are gonna wanna take notes if you can write as fast as I'm talking. If not, I'll you know I'll help you guys out later. But three, three bar move up, we get that 50% retracement. We go into that level and then we end up rocketing higher. So as we pull back into that 50% retracement, I'm looking for a continuation in the direction of the first three bars. This is called a charge trade, also known as a breakfast trade, because by the time you are done eating breakfast, this thing should be setting up. This is a trade I teach traders who work full-time jobs because all you got to do is look at the market once a day. You don't got to sit in front of a desk all day. Um, so yeah, then we have a gap down here in the Russell. And then we have three bar move. You look for that 50% retracement and the rotation lower. So as we trade up into that 50% retracement, that's where I'm looking for the entry. That's when I decide, will the market be above or below that level and then place my bets accordingly, all right? So choosing a strike for the trade, I always choose the closest strike to the 50% retracement. This is a question I get often. What strike do you choose? I just choose the closest one. I don't try to make it complicated. And then for the time, because you guys remember, we have multiple time strikes. Um, you get one that I usually go 
at least 45 minutes to two hours out and then one at the end of the day. So I'll spread it amongst two separate trades. And what I've actually done here is, you know, we all love computers and computer systems and, you know, make, making and building computer systems for trading is kind of a little bit of a side hobby of mine. But what I've done is I've created an indicator that's going to show up on the close of the third 15 minute bar that's going to tell me whether or not the uh, trade is set up long or short. It's going to give me my stop criteria as well as my entry and the exit can be based on time or price of the previous negative 23% profit target. So let's take a look at this. So we have a three bar move off the open. I get the charge trade long trigger to show up and this works in thinkorswim we're getting it built for trade station right now then we have the mlt charge trade long a line will come across your screen it'll give me my target buy and my stop target buy here 49 quarter and we rotate right into that 49 quarter okay same setup different day charge trade long is triggered you get that line on your screen you get the target buy 2086 half and then the stop Okay, boom, rotate down to 2086 half. As we trade in the 2086 half, a lot of times the Nadex strike will be, you know, one or maybe two points above or below. So it could either be 2086, 2087, or 2088. It depends on the day. But Nadex strikes at the end of the day are every three points. So you will always have a strike price within three within a three points of your entry level. So I just buy the one that's the closest and then look for it to rotate and stay above that level. You can see we come down, we rotate and stay above. Now, if we spend more than three bars touching that support level, as we get up into the high, that's when I start looking for the exits. All right. That's where I start going, okay, time to go. And I will take off the position. Now, in this case, when you have a very violent reaction to the upside, a one, two, three bar move to the downside and then a move up, um, that is where I'll actually add into it. So if you have actually this, this we ended up having a five, five bar move off the open after a gap up, pulled back into that 50% retracement. If you engulf that next, that previous high in the next 30 minutes, that is a position where you can add because usually when that setup happens, it's a trend day. It is a trend day. So that's something to take down in your notes. But putting ideas into action on what I do every day. Uh, when uh, Dan had introduced me, he had talked about how I trade in front of my room. So what I do every morning is I create a trade plan. I think those of you guys, how many of you guys create a trade plan every single day? Um, so creating a trade plan every single day is key to my personal success. I know the levels of support and resistance before they trade before they trade because I make myself aware of them. I make ideas and set trade plans before the market opens, so I'm not reacting. I'm aware of the levels and placing my orders before they trade. I'm aware of market moving economic news. If you didn't know that FOMC was coming out today, you probably don't check the news cycle. And no, I'm not not saying you need to go be trade the news. I don't even trade the news, but I'm aware when it's coming out so you can either take a position off or manage a position accordingly so you're not whacked with a stop run uh, during a news event like everybody was in the middle of the day here today. And then I formulate an opinion of the trend. This is about a 15 minute video that I go over anywhere from four to five markets every single morning. This is a trade plan that is done by me and sent to you. There's seven reasons traders fail. They trade products they don't understand. They don't know their exact max risk and their exact max reward upon trading entry, which creates psychological confusion. You guys remember how I talk about, you know, when you're trading traditional options, a lot of times you don't really know exactly what that option is going to be priced at if you get a certain move because implied volatility can change, um, you know, the decay of the option. That is all a constant shift. But with Nadex binary options, you know exactly if we are above or below your strike price, how much you will make or lose on any given trade. A lot of traders have no defined setups like I just showed you here, which means they have no trading process. They see a big bar and they jump in. They see a couple of squiggly lines and they jump in with no true trading process. They use outdated lagging momentum based indicators that have been around since high speed internet. Guys, RSI and MACD and I don't want to I don't mean to knock on you any of you guys who use it, but those were invented before high speed internet. 
just so you know that. So, you know, think about that. A lot of traders react to price rather than having a plan of where to trade in advance, and they're addicted to chasing both up and down moves without being able to see them in advance. That's because they've never been trained in proper tactical analysis and have misguided approaches. My question to you is, are you willing to take the steps to change your trading habits for increased profits? On the right-hand side, I got a stack of books. I've read every one of those times three. I got another stack that I just don't have a picture of. Now, if you're like me, you learn from videos. You learn from looking over somebody's shoulders, and that's exactly what I do. There's four steps to trading. You trade a product with risk-reward known in entry. You eliminate psychological mistakes by reducing complexity. And then number three is define setups that will occur every single day of trading. And number four is execute those setups based on price and ignore the noise of indicators. My story with this strategy, in December, I took $250 and over $18,000 in just three weeks. I recorded every trade, and you can view all of them to motivate you and help you understand how these new things called Nadex binary options work. Using only the six setups that I teach, I was able to achieve an amazing return in 13 days. These proprietary setups are the charge trade, which I just showed you, plus five more trading setups that I don't have time to show you guys today, but I'll list them off to the halfway back, which is great for trending markets. The bully, which is my number one go-to during a consolidation. How many of you guys get psyched out and consolidations are your bad markets? Then we have the dive, which is designed for catching breakouts and breakdowns. And then the leg start, which is a method used to identify support and resistance before they trade, not after. And the flunk, which teaches you how to avoid chasing moves. My best six setups to trade Nadex is a course. And here's what you're going to get in it. You're going to get the best six setups I use to trade Nadex. You're going to learn how to trade Nadex binary options using the process of an expert, strategies to simplify your trading and eliminate beginner mistakes, and how I eliminate market noise and focus on trading with the absolute best trading setups. Plus, I'm going to be emailing you my real world daily plan to define, execute, and successfully manage your trades. And you can get the course here at www.mltnadex.com. Now, I'm going to have a discount available for the 10 traders on demand immediately. It's going to be $97. This course is listed on my website at $297. So right now, you can get it for $97 for the first 10 traders. And after you buy, you're probably wondering, what do you do next? So what I have, those six setups I just went over, I have a little cheat sheet. It's a cheat sheet I keep on my desk. It never leaves my side. If you guys, you know, if you remember college or high school, maybe some of you guys are too old or never went, but you know, the teachers will let you have a little note card that lets you keep all the little answers on it. So I, what I've done is I've designed a little note card. Actually, it's a little bigger than that with the six setups that I use in trading. I want you guys to print it out and put it on your desk so you can start identifying these setups because they do occur every single day. I want you to plan your trade using these setups. Keep a journal of the setups you take and track your results. It's crucial. I know it's cliche, but it's crucial. I recommend 36 trades and then with a positive expectancy and then go live. Remember to watch the MLT morning trade plan videos and don't forget before every trade to ask yourself, what is the trend? Where is the major support and resistance? And what is your risk to reward? You are going to learn a simplified way to get the answers here at www.mltnadex.com. My best six setups to trade Nadex is a $3,288 value. And the first 10 people here today are going to get it for $97, which is about the cost of a cheap date on Valentine's Day. Sometimes they're more than that. But my best six setups to trade Nadex is a $497 value. The MLT proprietary charge trade indicator is a $197 value. You're going to get live trading videos of me making tens of thousands of dollars in profits, including there's a couple of thousand dollars in losses in there as well, just to kind of show you guys how I manage my winners, how I manage my losers, etc. You're going to get a chart grid 
uh, trading software with a tutorial. So if you don't have any charting software, don't worry. We're going to set you up and show you how to use it. You're going to get one month of the MLT Morning Trade Plan video, which if you listen to today, it was absolutely spot on. And this is a lifetime membership access class in $899 value. If you get the course and want to watch me trade, which I do in the morning, and this morning, I trade futures in my room, and today, and I'll show you guys right here, I was able to capture about $862.50. So if you just, and that's just with the two lot in the S&P, it's nothing fancy. You could technically do that with like, you know, $1,500 in margin if you wanted. That'd be pretty risky though, but not saying you should. Uh, but $862 in profit today trading the S&P on a two lot, that would have paid for the course eight times over. So this is just a deal I offer people to kind of see inside my mind. Uh, when investing, they're great guys over there. They asked me to come with something special for you guys here today and uh, at least save 10 spots for you guys. So at this point in time, I will take questions, anything regarding the program, um, and then also show you guys some cool indicators I use. If anybody is interested in seeing that. So let me get rid of some drawings here. And then feel free to start asking your questions. I see a bunch already coming in, but I'm messing around with some settings. All right, so one of the, a couple of the indicators I use in my room, and they're just price-based indicators. These, these dots here, they're called swing marks. So when they form, I just draw a support line, and then all I do is I follow the trend, and then I look for retests of the lower level dots. These are called my swing marks and leg starts indicator. Once we put one in, what I'll do is the next time we trade that level, I'll look for a Nadex long position above that strike price, and then I'll keep doing it until it breaks on the direction of the trend. Now you can counter trend trade them as well. Like here, you know, we have resistance, 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 re resistance, that works too, but I just prefer to uh, actually trade it. So these are some of the indicator upgrades that are offered with the Nadex course. Your swing marks are pivot points. Um, Depending on what you mean by pivot points, there are either swing marks and leg starts. They are pivot points, so they mark pivot points, and they're just pivotal points in the market. There's actually a specific code. You can change the code. And then the orange dots are what I call leg starts, which is the beginning of up and down moves. The retest of leg starts is something you will see reaction to over and over again once you be able to identify them. Is Nadex.com an exchange? Yes, good question. It is an exchange. They are not market makers. They have third-party market makers, and they are the exchange. After one month, uh, after one month, what does your trade room plan cost? Good question, Brad. So the first month, your trial is seven dollars. Meaning, if you followed my trades today, you would have paid for that trial about a hundred times over. Actually, more than that, a hundred and ten or so. Um, after the first month, it's $99 a month. And in the trade room, this is what you get. You get morning trade plan video, a nightly trade plan video. We do, I, I, brought, I only trade in the mornings. I trade 8 a.m. to 12 Eastern. And then like today, I, I put another trade after FOMC, but that's when the broadcast happens. Every Wednesday, we do a webinar. And then we also send out evening texts with support and resistance levels and everything from currencies, gold, and futures. Last night, I could show you the text. I sent out 23.76 half was my level I sent out in the S&P, the low of the day, 23.75 half. That was a level I'd sent out last night. So we sent those out every night. We sent out a text in the morning for you guys who are uh, at work. So we sent two texts a day, except on weekends. Um, and... I mean, it's it's the best value for a trade room out there because not only do you get a trade room, you get member webinars, you get morning and nightly trade plan videos, premium videos, and text messages. Normally, most people charge $200 a month for just text messages. Is it $97 monthly fee or lifetime? For the course, ML, this is just a course. This is a one-time charge for the course. If you'd like to take the trade room, it's another $7 trial for the first 30 days. Cancel at any time. And like I said, if you if you took that trial yesterday and followed my trades today, you would have paid for the trial 110 times over. 
can you use Ninja Trader for the platform? You can use whatever platform you would like. Uh, I use Thinkorswim, and I share my levels on Thinkorswim, but you know you can use anything you'd like. Uh, Nadex is. Nadex is the exchange and the brokerage, as far as I understand. They are not the market maker, though. It's a lifetime membership to our Nadex course. Sorry, did you just trade the Nadex options or straight ES futures? I traded straight ES futures. I'm actually going to be doing here, and this is separate, but I'm doing a $10,000 account challenge starting uh, May 16th, and it's going to be a year-long course. But the $10,000 account challenge, I'm going to be sending out every single text I take in that Nadex account to us only 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 20 people and I only have nine spots left but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother deal um but that's that includes our trade room for a year if you're serious about wanting to learn this you can ask me about that that's called our boot camp but um <clears throat> gonna be taking a, doing a ten thousand dollar uh live account challenge with Nadex trying to take it to 50k by the end of the year but just doing two to five percent risk per trade what if you've never traded what if you never Traded Forex or binary options. Is this is a good for a novice with no experience, intermediate, advanced? So, Stephanie, pretty much the basics. Once you get that stuff out of the way, um, what we we actually cover everything from A to Z here. I've had, you know, people who have literally said i've been trading for 30 years this is the first webinar i've attended in the last five years where i've actually bought a course and because i was just so intrigued by this new product and i have people honestly i would say at least 30 percent of the people who take this course have never even opened an account and we cover everything from account openings what a candlestick is you know if you're an advanced trader obviously you just skip through that section but if you're a beginning trader, we're going to cover that stuff A to Z in this course. It's the best value you're going to come. Is it available for Canadians? Brad, Nadex is not currently available for Canadians. That's something you guys should know. If you like to trade futures, um, you're more than welcome. All of this stuff, will, all of these technical lessons you'll learn will apply to the futures, the futures side of things as well. And like I said, I do trade futures in my room. I just think Nadex is such an exciting product, especially for people with uh, smaller accounts that that's kind of one of the things I, I like to teach. But uh, if, if you trade other products and you're interested in that, like I said, you know, all this stuff I use in futures as well. Um, do we need to use an ADEX platform or can we use the other platform? Ron, the only thing I actually use Nadex for is order execution. I don't look at their charts. I don't find their charts to be pretty, I guess you could say. Um, so, I mean, they are the broker, so you have to open their, that platform to, to trade because there's only two regulated binary brokers in the United States. One is Nadex, and they're backed by a company out of Australia called IG Group. They have billions of dollars in capital behind them. It's not a small fry. They're just you know kind of expanding right now. And then the other one is Cantor Exchange. And honestly, somebody needs to buy out that place and turn around the management because they, they just don't have anywhere near, in my opinion, the complexity of, of Nadex. As far as products they offer, depth of the products, liquidity of the products is just different. What does Tom Sosnoff think of binary options? Probably not much because Tom Sosnoff doesn't believe in um, in technical trading. But uh, I actually have an email that I sent him from – I always email him with my best trades. One email I sent him specifically August 25th, 2015 when the S&P was at 1860. And, in fact, I went on – I don't know if you guys – if you're a taste trade watcher, you know Steve Miller. I went on Steve Miller's show and called for targets at, I think it was 20, I was looking at 2260 was my profit target when we were, or 2240, I think it was, when we were trading 20, 1860. And I called it on his show and I sent Tom an email. And uh, he doesn't believe in technical analysis, but I've proved him wrong many, many, many times. Can I trade binary with IB? No, guys, you cannot. So just to simply answer the question, this is a completely new product that you probably cannot trade with your current brokerage. It is complete. Binary options are not available on, 
on the market. This is actually a completely new financial product in the market. This is not something you've, and that's why it's so revolutionary. Like everybody else is going to come on here and tell you about a product you, that's been around for 10, 15 years. This is something I'm going to show you guys how to use the order platform, how it works, uh, how it's priced, etc. I mean, our course is well, well worth the $97 and it is absolutely the best value I offer. And it's only for the first 10 people. And I'm looking right now to my order tickets and I have three spots left and then it is going back the $297 deal. Do your indicators work on Thinkorswim? Right now, Brian, they only work on Thinkorswim. We are getting them built for NinjaTrader and TradeStation. Who does Nadix use as a market maker? Um, they use third-party market makers. At initially, I don't even I don't know if they still do, but I know they had a partnership with the CBOE. Don't quote me on that. Also, if any of you guys are in the San Diego area or want to come out to San Diego on May 13th, I'm going to be giving a live free seminar at the Westin in San Diego for Nadex binary options. Come meet, greet. There's going to be breakfast at 8 a.m. So once again, anybody in California that would like to come down to San Diego on Saturday, May 13th, 8 a.m. at the Westin, I'm going to be doing a just a live. We're going to be we're going to try to stream it on Facebook. Um, we're also going to be giving away a computer, believe it or not. We're going to be giving away a computer live on stage, which is pretty sweet. And um, I think we're building out the pages right now. Let me show you guys this computer because you'll get pretty excited. So we custom built this computer. It costs us about $3,000. It's going to come with uh, two BenQ monitors. But if you're in my email system, if you're not in my email system, go to my website, majorleaguetrading.com, and enter your email. We'll send you an email to win this computer. So even if you're not going to take the course, fine. You're missing out on that, absolutely. And I promise you, you are really missing out. At least enter your email into our system. And you'll be, uh, we're going to uh, enter or we're going to email out registration to win this computer. You can also like us on Facebook, Major League Trading. We've posted this on there as well. Like us on Facebook and enter into this. We only, I think right now we have about 2,000 people who have entered. So, I mean, one in 2,000 chance, that's way better than winning the lottery. I, I can't win. I can't win. Neither can any of my family. Otherwise, I'd tell them to enter. But that's just how the rules are. We're doing it by the regulatory standards. But this is a pretty sick computer, guys. So if you guys are in the uh, in the market for a new trading setup, we're giving this thing away for free. But once again, coming back to the reason you're all here, this course right here, absolutely the best deal you're going to find on the internet. And like I said, if you joined the trade room trial, if you copied my trades today, you would have paid for this course eight times in one day. So I'll leave it up to you guys to make the decision. I'm sure you're all pretty smart individuals and can make some pretty logical con conclusions. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. If there's any more questions, feel free to ask if I'm about the giveaway or anything else. Um, Uh, Michael, if I don't have the computer link because we don't, we're building the page right now. But if you go to my website, you enter your email. It's majorleaguetrading.com. Major League Trading. I mean, that's a really easy name to remember. I think we actually have the best name in the industry besides Online Trading Academy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't buy their twenty thousand dollar course. Do you use the trade setup to trade Nadex to trade on? Yeah, I use the same setups on futures. I have a couple of different ones I use in futures that I don't use in Nadex because the order execution, the liquidity in futures is obviously, you know, extremely high. It's the most liquid product pretty much out there. Um, so there's a couple of different things just based on the way you can execute trades, but primarily they're the same setups. Mike, if you did not see the offer to join the trading room, uh, shoot me an email, support at majorleaguetrading.com.
That's my email, guys, support at MajorLeagueTrading.com if you want to take the $7 trial as well. And also, guys, we have some really cool mouse pads. You also, if, if you want, you, you bought the course. We just, there's just, all we ask you to do is pay for shipping, and we'll ship you the mouse pad too. So you should see that as well when you go to your order form. On typical ES trade, how much do you risk per contract? Good question, Brad. I typically enter every trade with a two-point stop. I can go over the trades I take to, I took today and uh, show you. My my first trade of the day, uh, I'll show you. This is, where is it? Drawings, low drawings. This morning, these are my, so every morning I draw a bunch of levels and then um, I, I trade those levels. So th my first trade this morning was actually a short. I shorted, uh, what was it, 80, I think I, yeah, 81.75. My level was 82. Occasionally I'll front run my level by a tick. I shorted 81.75. And then as I shorted 81.75, I covered uh, into the new low at 77.5. I then went long 76.5 because that was a level for my morning trade plan. My first profit target was 79. And then I was originally going to go for the gap fill. But as we kind of started fluttering, I moved my stop out. And then as we took out this low, I was taking out the second half of the position. And then the last trade I took on the day, I only took three trades, was this dip by here, which is a halfway back. This is a, this setup right here, this halfway back, is something I teach in the Nadex course right here for uh, that $97 deal with a total value of $3,288. So I typically risk two points per trade per contract. So if I'm trading a two lot, my, my, my uh, risk then is going to be uh, $200. Anytime, Brad. All right. Well, Dan, I think that's it for me. I know I got a few more minutes left here. Um, I can leave my screen up, or if anybody has any questions about trade setups tomorrow, I can start reviewing some other markets. Uh, what, so this is what I look at, guys, for futures. Um, and this is something I teach. We got gold, CL, a couple of the currencies, and then I'll look at uh, commodities. I look at, like I said, I look at about 15 different instruments at once. One thing that's really uh, catching my eye here, guys, is this USD CHF move. So I'm going to be making a video on this. As far as gold goes, um, I had a support level at 1246. If you guys follow gold closely, 1246, this this was a support level. It was a nice halfway back long on the weekly chart, on the daily chart. It was drawn from the low of the 10th of March to high, that 1246 level. The first test bounced. And then we came into that FOMC minutes release. We traded back in the resistance level and just, we just completely got crushed. So now that we're getting crushed to and through these levels, honestly, I see us coming all the way halfway back. There's probably no support until we retest another 30 points below. I would say gold's got some room to run to the downside. This continues to probably retest the lows back from the March. USD CAD, let's take a look at that. I like it. Active group here. Don't be shy. Um, USD CAD, I have what's called a extension. My support is 1.3691, and my upside profit target is 13787 in the USD CAD. Ron, your question is, I signed up. Where should we check first on the site? First of all, anybody who signed up here, and I see that almost everybody did because there's only two spots left, is – Everybody who signed up, first off, check your spam promotions and junk folder. You should immediately get a login. Over the next few days, be checking your email. I'm going to send you guys follow-up emails, pointing out different sections of the course to review. What you're going to do is you're going to log into the membership section on the top right of our page, majorleaguetrading.com. Log in with the information we provide you. Save your password so you don't lose it. Um, you can always reset it if you do. Then go from there. You're going to see a bunch, all of our courses and the Nadex course, or if you have the upgraded indicators as well, is you're going to have an option to actually go ahead and purchase or, or, or go ahead and view that. Now, if you want to take the trade room trial and you didn't get it, I definitely recommend you do. Like I said, if you would have been in the room today trading futures and copied every trade I did, which I did on my screen, I didn't do it behind anybody's back. They were placed on my screen in advance. 
you would have paid for this course times eight. Um, you're going to log in. It's just start viewing it. It's like a module. So there's module one, module two, module three. There's slideshows and videos as well as text. It's a really well put together course. If So all of the ones that have locks are ones you don't have access to. The fundamental course is one we just, you know, give everybody who, who signs up. And the Nadex course, the Nadex Master Course, which is what you just purchased, is going to be unlocked. That's the one you're going to go into, Yummy. Any binary setups into the French elections? Yeah, the USD CHF, I'm looking, going to be looking for some long setups. I got AUD USD shorts. I do think the Euro, the Euro USD, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided there. AUD JPY. Uh, AUD JPY shorts. I'm going to be looking at USD JPY longs. And then I think we get a continuation in the ES higher. I don't think Le Pen wins. Um, I think she's going to be, I really doubt she wins. How long is this deal available for? It's going to be up for the next eight hours. And then we're taking it down tonight at 12 o'clock. Or until the two spots fill up, whatever it, it just automatically will stop. It, it is if two spots fill up, it'll just kind of it won't work anymore. But so either till twelve o'clock or two more spots. Awesome. So Cedric just signed up. So one spot. The link for the $7 trading room. Let me get that to you. One sec. All right. So here's the trade room link. For seven dollars for the first thirty days, and then after that, it automatically rolls into a subscription at ninety nine a month. Like I said, you can cancel at any time. Just shoot us an email, and we'll take you off. Not a big deal. Um, so that is the link for the trade room trial. Uh, let me show you guys what some of our texts look like. So we send out a text every night, and what I'll look for is different trading opportunities. So like this is what I sent out last night. You can see see this level here? That's at 23.76. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll highlight the levels, I'm uh, the levels I'm anticipating, whether they be long or short, and then just kind of talk about that. So we do that every night, and in the morning, we just send like kind of a broad overview uh, Eric, who's my partner in Major League Trading, will talk about what he's looking for in the morning. I talk about what I'm looking for at the night. So this is really a great product for people who work full time or don't have the opportunity to spend like you know four hours a day trading, which I totally get. Uh, no RB, I didn't. Is the trade room separate from the $97? Yes, it is. And here's here's where you can sign up. The trade room comes with a screen share. 
it's a morning we're having a we'll have a morning trade plan video a nightly trade plan video and then we do wednesday webinars we send texts it's really a great deal like i said if most people just charge you 200 dollars a month for the tax and then they'll charge you another 147 for the trade room and if you want the nightly videos you know if you can you're looking at you know 79 bucks so we give it all under one we're not gonna we're not gonna always do this because believe it or not it costs us thousands of dollars a month to send tax it's actually one of our most expensive software expenses you know I was like can I just get an unlimited texting plan nope comes from a short code Um, sorry if you already answered this. Do your setups work in currencies? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So I actually, I so the the ten Nadex pairs are AUD JPY, Euro JPY, Great Britain Pound USD, USD JPY, AUD USD, Euro USD, USD CAD, Euro JPY. Great Britain Pound, JPY, and USDCHF. So there's uh, 10 pairs you can trade. I think Facebook, did Facebook earnings not, you guys want to do some trading? Let's see. I think Facebook earnings just came out. If there's a good setup. I'll trade it because I, first I thought I had 45 minutes and then I realized I had much more than that. So I sped up my webinar, which usually doesn't take this long. And then I ended up just being, but hey, I'll still stick around with you guys. Let's take a look at Facebook. Jeez, I've been. Hey, if any of you guys are on, any, anybody here on Instagram, or are you guys all over 50, which is fine. My dad's over 50. I have nothing against you. But if you do, check out our Instagram story. My partner put up like, I didn't have a big of a day as he did, but he put up like a six thousand dollar day today. Check it out; it's on our story. Major league trading. Do you say you can sign up for the texting? Yes, you just need to sign up for our trial and then we have to update our list. So that that's where you go. <laughs> Over 50, but this old dog wants to learn a new trick. I tell you what, I've it, my some of my biggest surprises come from students who are much older ahead. One time I said in a webinar, if you're over 80, this probably isn't for you. Within the next 24 hours, I got an email from a, a woman who was 72, but her husband was 84 learning to trade, and she had learned in my room. Some people are really quiet, so you never hear from them. She had learned in my room and now had given her husband her login, 
and wanted to let me know that there was people over 80 in the room. And I was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool though. I was like, wow, 84? Wow. So, never say never, especially in trading. Never say never. Is your Thinkorswim is your is the platform that you're showing Thinkorswim? Yes, it is. Can we pay with PayPal, Alex? We like the reason we don't have PayPal is because it's it honestly has to do with more uh, pay, paperwork than anything. They won't accept us as a processor, so it's called a merchant account. It's a bunch of business talk, anyways. They don't uh, they won't accept us as a merchant account for whatever reason. Um, but we can process orders through PayPal, but they have to be a custom invoice. So if you really do prefer PayPal, um, you know, we can make it happen, but it has to be a custom invoice and you'll have to shoot us an email with your email address. Then we can request, uh, then we have to request payment that way. So it can happen. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. I still haven't seen the trading room address, just the course address. Are they the same? Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, I've i dropped it in here a few times. If you want to purchase a trading room, here it is. Just copy and paste that in. I haven't, I haven't like, shown the link, but I just pasted it in, answered your question, and you just click that at $7 for the first 30 days. So let me know if that works. Benefits of the course for trading futures on NinjaTrader for Canadians. Absolutely, especially HKP. I recommend, uh, I definitely recommend taking the trial. If, if, if you're in Canada um, and you can't and you can't trade Nadex, the Nadex course is valuable, but one thing you should do is take our trial because I do trade futures in the room and it's $7 and you'll be able to stick around for a month. We have other courses that are directed to more towards futures but i'd want you to see the room kind of see how we work before if you're going to buy a nadex course and not be able to trade nadex i'd rather have you come in the trade room take out the trial and then see if maybe you want to look into one of our futures courses so i dropped the link in that that'll be a huge benefit for you are you using the stick on the one minute i don't know what a stick is but candlestick uh, I don't use one minute charts. I break down my analysis starting on the daily, move down to the hourly, and then I trade on the tick chart. I will trade on the tick chart of you just so I can see all the detail only when I'm intraday trading, but I actually come up with my support and resistance levels and do my analysis on the higher time frame. Do you have TOS for charting the binaries or do you also use Nadex charting? Good question. I only use Thinkorswim charting. Um, I don't look at I don't look at Nadex's charting. Uh, you guys wanna here, I got a trade set up for you tomorrow. Um Nasdaq at fifty six oh two. I'm gonna go long there. So if you're in my trade room tomorrow, I'll go, I'm gonna go long there. I'm gonna place an order on the first test. If it trades in the overnight, then I'll be taking it first, but 5602 in the NASDAQ, don't front run me, thank you. I signed up for the room and logged into the room. Where is the texting set up? So you need to make sure that you have your number in, our prof in your profile. And then, um, so, so like when you enter in your information to purchase, put your cell phone number in because we're not gonna be able to guess it. I promise you that. We, once we have your cell phone number in our system, you'll be given a trade room tag and then it, it just automatic, but you need your number. It just give us like, it usually takes 24 hours. Let's see, yeah, it takes 24 hours. To get you into the system, all right. So you guys remember that level I said, the NASDAQ 5602, I'm gonna go 5602 quarter, I'm gonna go 5602 half. 
All right, so here's my little trade here. I'm going to buy, I have two contracts. I'm just showing you guys this. I'm gonna leave this up until it trades. 56.02 half. I'm going to bid. My stop here is going to be 96 half, and my first targets are up at 56, 15, 56, 16. I'll probably adjust those when I get filled. That's just as a bracket order, but this is a trade I'm going to take here in the NASDAQ futures contract. Um, so a couple of questions here. When you set up the Nadex, how much do you need to get started? The minimum account balance is $250. However, really what it comes down to is if you only fund your account with $250 and you take a at-the-money strike, which is going to be $50, you're going to be putting 20% of risk on your account per trade, which is a lot of risk per trade. Um, in Module 7, I talk about going over a series of trades on a demo account and then coming up with what's called using the Kelly criterion, coming up with your edge and deciding your bet size. But really all it, it it's less about how much you put in your account and more about how much risk you have on any given trade. If you fund an account with $1,000 and you're taking a one lot trades, you're going to be doing a 5% risk per trade. If you're doing 20% of risk per trade, you're not going to be around long. I'm going to tell you guys that flat out right here. If you're putting that kind of risk per trade, unless you're a damn good trader, you're not going to be around long. If, if there is, uh, Cedric, there is an optionable upgrade for the indicators. So there, there's four more indicators. One indicator is included for the course, and then there's four more that you can buy.
I'll tell you what, guys. The, the, I just want to thank, first of all, before I get off the mic, thank you to the guys over at Winvesting for, number one, giving me the opportunity to come speak today. Number two, everybody in this room, thanks for showing up. I hope you guys learned something from this, and I also hope you guys uh, signed up for at least my trade room trial and can come in the room and watch me trade tomorrow. Um, I'm excited. Got, what, a couple more days here left in the week. And then Friday, we start all over again come Monday. Were these indicators built by me? Yes. With the help. I, I mean, I didn't do it 100% on my own, but they were they, – the concept was built by me, and then I just worked with – my our programmer actually is a broadcaster as well. His name is Perry, and he's a genius. And he, you guys, for those of you guys in the room tomorrow, you're also going to see he's been trading for th like 20, 30 years. He's a genius. It's kind of cool. I love meshing with the guy. We have a couple of different personalities in our trade room. It's not just me, although I'm the best. Just kidding. But seriously. Chachu, um, I use Thinkorswim for charting. You can use any charting platform you want. The orders you place are with Nadex. If you watch the videos, you'll understand completely. We go over in great detail. How much for the four under indicators? It's $197 for the four indicator bonus upgrade. Could the NQ trade that you just mentioned be done using a binary spread? Yes, it could be.